than the children of light in making their own preparations. Mm -hmm. See? <laughs> Have your way, Holy Ghost. Many, many in the body of Christ, they do not believe, and a lot of them are in a state of slumber, spiritual slumber. There shall be weeping and wailing, and there shall be gnashing of teeth. Jesus. Have your way, Holy Ghost. And I'm hearing a lot of crying. There's just a lot of crying. Jesus. Have your way, Holy Ghost. Keep wondering if they, if I had known, then I'll do the, I would have done this or I would have done that. If I had known. Or if they are taking it seriously. So I just think it's a, it's a hoax what many prophets are saying. I just think it's you know, so many, so many people think that what is prophesied is just a hoax or something that would never come to pass, but it shall come to pass. Jesus. I'm not hearing anything else. Glory. Father God, give us the resources that we may prepare. Lord, allow your daughter to have the resources to prepare. Allow all of us to have the resources so we can prepare. Allow us, Father God, not to be caught by surprise. Lord, allow not the enemy to steal what we need to prepare and to warn and to be able to save some, God. Lord, let there be a multiplicity of your blessings to be released on us so we may have what we need, Lord, to help your people in the season, God. Do you know what stupor means? Stupor, yeah. When you're you're in a, a, like a, a state of, uh, uh, like you're asleep. Like a drunken stupor. Right? Okay. Yeah, that's a state of the video for sorry. Jesus. Father God, you've spoken so many times about what is about to come on the earth. Lord, cause the things that needs to be exposed to be exposed on a national and an international level. Or cause the enemy in government, even in the church, let them be exposed in Jesus' name. Cause the false prophets and the preachers to be exposed in Jesus' name. And God is saying he's taking some people from the back to the front. It's time for the true voices to arise. Those who have been in the shadows and at the backside of the desert. It's time for the true prophets, the true men of God, with dignity to stand, to arise and let their voices be heard. Stand and have no fear of faces. Have no fear of media. Have no fear of repercussions. Have no fear of what, what people might say or how you, you may be treated. Some may be ostracized. Some will, will withdraw their support. But the true men and women of God, it's time for them all over the earth to arise and stand for justice and stand for what is right. I am looking, says the Lord, I am looking for them to stand, to rise. If you stand with me, I'll stand with you. Do not be silent. Sound the trumpet. Sound the alarm for the time is now. Do not watch the status quo. Do not watch what the mighty God. Thank you, Father. Do not watch what you're seeing. Do not watch what is reported by the media. The media is a lie. The media is a cover-up. To only let people believe that what they're seeing is real. But you need to have your sensors. Jesus. Connected to God. So that you, like the sons of Issachar, will know the times and the seasons that are upon us. Awake, awake out of sleep. Awake, awake out of slumber. Deep slumber, stupor. Awake, awake. I see somebody shaking somebody else. Wake up. But it's just, it's the, you know, like when you sleep, but you're, it's, it's like a coma. 
Jesus. Somebody is just shaking. Another person to say, wake up. Jesus. Symbolizing many of us need to be shaken, galvanized into the reality of what is about to come. Father, yet many will be left behind. Jesus. The wise virgins and the foolish virgins, you will see this play out. It's a parable, but you will see it play out. Jesus. Jesus. Holy Ghost, how do, do you want us to re, re, release this message? Do you want us to warn? What is the strategy to warn your people? Father God, we need you to give us the following. And we need for you to release unto us the the reach. Father God, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, or whatever else. And Lord, uh, Christian television station, regular television stations. We need the resource to be able to secure these spots, God. Many people are sending these resources. Many of these TV, the television stations, I'm seeing where they are sold out, they are already sold out. So to, when they will not want to hear the truth, if you're going to come with the truth, some of them will not want to hear. But I know that the Lord has to speak. So may the Lord open the resources wherever, wherever they are. May the Lord open and make the connection in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, is there anything else? Lord, is there anything else? Is there anything else, God? Is there anything else, Lord? Spiritual war or natural war? Or both? Okay. Father God, just just download the instructions that you have for us so we can warn your people, God. That you can warn, we can warn your people. You say he's taking very close to him at this time and in the season where he has a lot to say. Yes. So whatever fasting you can do, whatever um, laying aside of everything, every weight, sin, whatever, distraction is everything because he's speaking and he has a lot to say in this season. So there has to be some set aside time so he can download all that, all that data, all the information that he, he wants us to have. There are many teachers with itching ears. Many teachers with itching ears. And they are the ones that are drawing the people to the Yes, Lord. Lord, I'm at... The ones who are pulling the people. Mm-hmm. And a lot of them are working with divination. The mm-hmm. divination is strong in the church. Jesus. It is strong in the church. And many are pulled away. But woe, woe unto the pastors and the leaders who have led my people astray. There is a woe. There is a judgment. And judgment begins at the house of God. There is a judgment. There is a judgment. There is a judgment. Many have been warned, and yet still they continue to do what they are doing. They have been warned, but there is going to be an explosion. Jesus. That's the only way they will learn. For they will not hear otherwise. 
Father God, I'm asking you to sharpen our gifts. I'm asking you to sharpen all of our gifts and our abilities to hear you and to see. Lord, I'm asking that you will erect a shield around us, Lord, that we may not be contaminated or corrupted by the attacks of the enemy on the prophetic. Lord, I'm asking that everything that Renee has need of in all of your authentic prophets, that these things will be released unto them in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Lead us into new levels of prayer and intercession and communing with you, Lord. Lord, we need the resources. Go ahead. Have your wish, Father. So this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that you do have a big uh, heart for the things of God. I see where you surround yourself with the things of God. And I see, oh Lord, the Lord is about to furnish your legs. If you stick with Him, stay focused. Stay the course and do not throw in the tunnel. Lord, I, is a I will never leave you. Unto death, Lord, I'll never leave you. Unto death, I will never leave you, Father. Lord, and I know you'll never leave us. I know you'll never leave us. And Lord, I'm going to stay with you no matter what. And Lord, you know, sometimes I get frustrated. I know sometimes the bishop gets frustrated, first lady gets frustrated. For those of us who want to see the, the people of God grow in these areas, God, we get tired of the witchcraft, the curse words, the hypocrites that are around us, the lies and how they slander our names. But Father God, we're going to stay the course. And Lord, you didn't just bring us together for no reason. You didn't bring us all together, Father God, just because you. this is the purpose that you've called us for. And we're going to support each other regardless of what rises up against us. But Father God, I'm asking you right now that everything that I desire for myself, I desire for the people of God that are on this line right now. Those, even the ones that I don't know, Father God, that have your heart. Even for Renee and Olandi and your true prophets, God, that you shall, not that you will, but you've done it already. Because I know that it's released and manifested. Uh, it's released in the, in, in the heavens. You showed me that because we don't see the manifestation, that doesn't mean it's not done. So, Father God, give us what we need to adequately do your will 
in this season, God, everything we need. And I know it's a reward. I know there's a reward. I know, Lord, that it's about to be released. Teach us how to pray against the enemy operating against us. Give us strategies, Lord, perhaps that we haven't heard before. Lord, I'm asking you to open up our eyes of our understanding and the spirit of our understanding for us to learn in this season. Anoint us afresh. Baptize us afresh. Give us multiple baptisms. Baptize us with fire, God. In this season, cause our words, God, to never fall to the ground. In Jesus' name, in the name of your, the matchless name of your son. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father God, if you have anything else, we're still all ears. We're still all ears. Okay, Renee. You know we love you, right? Yes. All right. I love seeing that smile. Prophet! Renee, I don't know if you know how much the justice you have blessed us by allowing God to use you. I don't think you fully understand how much you have blessed us by allowing God to use you and speak through you. Because we can say this stuff. And people have been trying to beat us up, criticize us, push us to the side. They don't want to believe it. But God told us, don't shut your mouth. You keep talking. Now I understand why your spiritual battle is so heavy. From end to end, you're out of it. Spit what God is telling you to spit. Do not believe it. It's good. You are giving it. Yeah, don't accept it. No, I don't accept it. No, this is you just Jesus. You got me over here shaking, girl. So we're gonna disseminate this word. Because it is critical that we do so. And I'm like a drink inside your service. But I'm telling you, with a be perfect, we have to stay connected, you understand? Sure, everyone just have it. We gotta stay connected. What, what time is it there? It's now 6 33 p.m. Yeah. Wait, make sure you can get some questions. Say that again, bitch.